you win. Black, you lose. Be careful what you wager when you play with Lady Luck. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights 21, only at Universal Orlando Resort. Well, welcome back, man, to another Shadows of the Past. We've done this uh, occasionally. We've done this one other time, and really, uh, that was it. But walking into the front entryway of HHN 20, or HHN 21, I should say. You can see this is around the era of outside the park here with, that was kind of like HHN 20, where it wasn't the medallion as much as it was the video screen that uh, was just playing the commercials again and again. For the event. The first year I went, HHN 20 was doing something very similar. And going into the park, you can see there's no real huge scare zone uh, in the front there, but there are some houses. So as we walk in, to the main roll. This is uh, cemetery now the older mazes some of the videos are not it's harder to find the older maze walkthroughs just because in the earlier days of HHN there's a good scare right there through this crypt and another good scare right there definitely gets easier to find good uh, quality videos the more current that we go, but HHN21 <clears throat> Oh, the, the classic like torso rip This, I believe, being uh, Nightingale's Blood Prey. This being... This was a good, you know, a property that still holds a lot of weight. And these Nightingales were dressed up as you walked through the trenches you hear that constant gunfire. There's one. There's a good look at one right there. And there's another one. That's a good distract. Double-sided scare. A lot of trenches, a lot of the Nightingales like above you as you're in the trenches. A lot of gunfire sounds. Ah! 
Damn, one of the Nightingales is on. They got him on pulley systems. And now we're going into, this is actually the HHN Hollywood thing maze because we could not find a quality or any real walkthrough of the HHN 2021 maze. We are going to... Uh, You know, get what we can, and this being still to this day one of the top mazes that HHNLA ever produced, we are taking you through the Hollywood one. So we had the the Gothic, and we had or not Gothic, but Hawthorne Cemetery, whatever that first one was. Um. And you can see this is actually HHN Hollywood. Uh, that room right there, walking through that, that was wild. The puppets in this maze, and I can't speak for HHN 21, but the puppets in this thing were so elaborate compared to anything else we had seen at the time <clears throat> as we're going through the hospital ward it made for uh, like an incredibly wild surreal experience and this is kind of shows you the difference of what was allowed at the time one of the frozen guys just pounding on the window. Like, Hollywood really didn't care. Yeah, that thing was gnarly. There was another guy who had, like, a hand puppet thing. He would burst into one of the rooms here. As to what necessarily was allowed, like... Video recording-wise, L.A., The sound design too, like you could hear the thing like crawling around the room. There's the hand puppet thing. Um, like yell a l a, you record anything and everything. Coming through the facility, the alarm's going up or outside. It's a torched thing. The other thing that LA did, and I know Orlando does a lot, is this was cold, and for HHN Hollywood, the temperature, and there's the truck that moves, you know, six inches. LA loves that truck. Um. They had never really messed with the temperature. The dog kennel. It's a very long maze, too. Huge puppet. Another huge puppet. Like, look at that thing. <coughs> 
This is really the dawn of the black hallway. And so there you go. So never are the uh, things were everywhere are completely out of war. So winter's night, yeah. The nightingales and the the thing on the uh, the front, you know, plaza of HHN is what we had done. And now we're gonna check out our first scare zone, which was uh, acid assault. And this was uh, really like the the uh, a great mate our scare zone is it showcases the projection mapping. So acid assault. Um, I don't know if we're gonna go to HR blood and guts first, or then we'll check out the icon scare zone. The luck has run out scare zone as well I know but this was acid assault and projected on the buildings you can kind of see it there like the buildings are falling apart and it was like this acid you know like holocaust zone that was just amazing and there you see the thing entrance and again you gotta you know back up like that guy looks like Nemesis almost. You gotta back the, you know, the train up a little bit to HHN 21, 10 years ago. And think about video cameras 10 years ago. There's like these mutant dudes just roaming around in different, and some of them had gas masks on. But then they also like had this yellow tint, you can kind of tell, with the fog. So it came off very like, Chernobyl. And the buildings are just falling apart, crumbling. Like there's Jimmy Fallon falling apart. That lady there, with the baby carriage, like her face was completely melted off, it was wild. And there's even Rat Lady in the uh, acid assault. It's a big zone, too. And now, so here's HR Blood and Guts that we saw. And so, we saw HR Blood and Guts. As part of the scary maze in HHN 30. There's HR Blood and Guts. I think the whole premise is that his show has been canceled, so he's killing everybody in the TV station. Shit. Cupid. There's a dude who's been completely ripped open. It's like Valentine's Dance, but these Cupids are everywhere. Huge ugly ones. Next. Fourth of July and it's a firework factory. blew his hands off or what exactly he just did oh shit it's Easter Easter bunnies out monster bunny oh shit 
shit. I don't even know what holiday this is supposed to be, but this chick is sobbing this dude up at this table saw. She's just carving this dude apart. And now he's dressed up for St. Patrick's. Gnarly looking leprechaun or something. Big ass pot of gold in there. Middle of the room. It's a rainbow. But there's the leprechaun and he's gnarly looking. We definitely don't want... Damn. Fast fucking guy, too. Abraham Lincoln. And George Washington? Oh, God. Thanksgiving. There's a dude just that's been carved open on the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> Toy factory, but with machine guns, creepy ass elves. We are Santa's elves, and we get song like it playing. And now we're going into the uh, your luck is run out scare zone. So each our blood and guts, like very much looks like it was inspired by holidays in hell, or inspired holidays in hell, I should say. The your luck has run out scare zone. Uh, had lady luck. There she is. Where she didn't necessarily have a house. She had those dudes who were like the agents of Lady Luck, per se. And then all forms of Lady Luck were in were in Sting Alley. They had uh, her in her like beauty form right there. And then they had her in full like succubus form. That's, and you hear her snarling and growling at you. That's the succubus form of Lady Luck for sure. There she is. Succubi form. And so moving along... You had Night Maze, which was really nothing, man. And then... Uh, The, the Scare Zone 7 was really great. Canyon of Dark Souls was, was nothing uh, to brag about, but Grown Evil was really cool. But Night Maze was literally just this blacked out section of the park over there um, in between like where Monsters Cafe and Shrek 4D or Shrek 4D and Transformers in that section is literally, I mean, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at black hallways. It is the black hallway scare zone, and they have, like, some cloaked figures up in there. But anybody's worst nightmare, literally the black hallway scare zone, the nightmare scare zone. The one thing I would say that was unique to this is that they would move the walls... So the maze would change. But really, like, to scream, to do this, Night Maze, and to, to market it like it was this huge thing, um, yeah, like, it, it, uh, it just screams 
we didn't have an idea, so we're, we're going to throw some shit up. And so, Seven was in the Hollywood area of the park, Grown Evil and Central Park, and then over, kind of going towards Simpsons or what was Back to the Future, was the Cavern of Dark Souls. We still haven't done the in-between Saws and Steam um, Nevermore or the Forsaken are the uh, four mazes that we have left to do. Saws and Steam again, Saws and Steam uh, the Edgar Allan Poe and here we are where this is the seven scare zone and this kind of like Lady Luck like each of these sirens would go from beautiful to pretty gnarly and they each had like a dude counterpart so there's Raph like look at her she is gnarly very much inspired our Raph character design for door to door that road rash just torn apart style I'm not sure what she is supposed to be her face being all messed up makes me think she's supposed to be pride. Green with envy is what I would say. She's all in gold. Like, I don't know what each of them are. There's... Looks like Wrath. That, like, I honestly couldn't tell you which one was which. A gluttony was, was these guys to throw up all over them. But that's about all I know. Now through Grown Evil. We're doing a day walkthrough of Grown Evil just because I couldn't find a great... Night one that showcased these cool characters, which they were awesome. So you can imagine at nighttime how creepy these things have potential, but I wanted you to be able to see them. Because this was really just Central Park, really does produce some cool scare zones, and at night. You know, they are beautiful, but I, like I said, I wanted you to see what these guys looked like because they did look pretty cool. There's a cool shot. Last year's, you know, version of this. Now we're going into Saws and Steam. Or no, this is the Forsaken. Walking through a pirate ship. And again, the camera work. We got it, you know, 11 years ago. But you're essentially going through this pirate ship that, like, I think it crashed into a fort. And the crew of the Forsaken is the, uh, there was the, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, of course. But there was a fourth ship that you'd never found out about. And the Forsaken is the crew of that ship. And the ship, like, crashes into this fort. And then the crew, like, comes out. So you started in the pirate ship and then progressively made your way into the fort. But the character design with the light-up eyes and everything was so dope. Like, look at them. They look cool. Stormy and wet too, like classic like seaside ghost story like vibe in this maze. That was just so perfect. The glow 
glowing eyes, man. That's so fucking scary in the dark. Like, you know they're there. on either side of this room. Damn, they're like all up in it. Making you feel like they're everywhere. In reality, there's only... Oh, shit. Now the in between. Oh, Lord. So from the Forsaken to into the in between. <laughs> it's like this weird interdimensional comic book. In the spinning tunnel. It's weird Universal, like, they're spinning tunnels, and it was like this in Beetlejuice last year, too. I feel it more in Universal than anywhere else, and look at that demon thing. Like, black lit demon bat thing. This was in 3D, too. They had these laser light things everywhere. Made it very like you know the, these guys in the the ropes and everything, and you're trying to feel your way through, but it's in 3D too, and the neon and like very confusing as to which way to go, where to find them at. Like you, uh, and even when you see like the light of the next room, you still have all the shit in your way. You gotta navigate through. Is wild. Like I feel like uh, Great America tried to do this a few years ago, and I can't even remember what the hell they called the house, but it was like a disorientation house. But really, it was just a mirror, a big ass mirror maze with strobe lights and shit. This was more of what that house was marketed as. Like you were truly disoriented. Like the strobes, the characters blended in well they were all over the place it felt like it's interesting to me that this this year's event is always like held in like a cult classic status That dude, like, kind of just showcasing, like, the environment. And there's shit all over. And then these guys are, like, perfectly blended into the walls. And, cre and creepy looking. Like, he's a demon. Look at that thing. But he's got, like, the exact matching shit. And there's a creepy guy. We're moving into the next environment. And we are outside now. This is the uh, Canyon of Dark Souls. This just kind of shows you what it was like. They had these giant, you know, statue monolith things, and they were shooting fire off. So the last two we have not done are Saws and Steam, and Nevermore the Madness of Poe.
Right now, I would say this year, the Forsaken was probably right there with HR Blood and Guts as, as my top two. Winter's Night was also really cool, the video to do, again, finding the older Maze actual videos, it's hard. You kind of got to take what you can get. Here's Edgar Allan Poe. The Madness of Poe. This was a cool maze as well. You gotta like hear his work being read as you entered the first. coming out of the, the wall there after the first room which I believe was the oh shit hey, it's not Poe man it's one of the characters yeah look at that thing that's gnarly that looks like the pin the pendulum masquerade of the red death Edgar Allan Poe. The Raven. And now we are in Saws and Steam, which essentially is like this concept that people are being harvested to run the machines. So we're out of water, so we need we need uh, blood to run these the steam powered machines. And essentially, this maze was. A lot of like uh, Mad Max era feel with people being carved up and put into the machines. It's like Mad Max meets Roadhouse theme. Bunch of meat just getting squished. And that guy's crazy looking. guy at the exit oh and takes so that was it for HHN 21 man overall this was a solid year a fun event for sure yeah I was kind of disappointed Lady Luck didn't have like a casino haunt I think that would always could have been a pretty dope maze still could be if she ever were to uh, make a return. You saw that in the Icon Maze last year, really. 
how cool and lit and simple. It wouldn't take a whole lot to make something cool, but overall, HHN 21, like I said, the uh, the Forsaken and HR Blood and Guts, probably my, my favorite mazes, and the uh, Seven and Acid Assault, my favorite scare zones. But we'll be back with another HHN, HHN 22, on the next episode. So thank you for watching and or listening. And stay tuned, man. Haunt season is coming up very, very fast. Cannot wait. Stay spooky, everybody.